So today is going to be an exciting video. I'm actually going to the fashion district today. I haven't been to the fashion district in a minute, but I told myself 2023 we are dropping new arrivals back to back. We're not getting behind when it comes to dropping new stuff. We're going to continuously be dropping new arrivals. So my March collection, my March collection, my spring collection is going to drop in March. And I actually already picked out everything and already paid for it. So I really am just going there to go pick it up. But I do want to just look around at some other stuff that I could possibly get as well. Like maybe some sunglasses and some purses if I want to add any sunglasses or purses. Um, and then I do want to drop my summer collection in may so i want to like look around too to see if i see anything that i gives me inspiration for the summer collection a lot of the vendors that are at this um, fashion district now all of them are at are on like online um <clears throat> are like on where you can purchase online and then pick up in store like i did so most of them like don't have you know online presence it's just like a whatsapp or something so i kind of just want to use today since i pretty much already bought everything just to walk around and look for new vendors um and just you know see if i see any new vendors that i'm not familiar with or anything like that um and just see with some of my normal vendors that don't have websites um see what they have in stock so yeah let's just head on over to the fashion district Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Alrighty guys, so I made it to the fashion district um, Where I'm at right now is actually the San Pedro Mart So there's like a bunch of different parts of the fashion district so the first um vendor that I need to go pick up from Is at the San Pedro Mart And then um like if you walk maybe like six minutes away, there's another like big selection of um, stores and then like even driving up like there's just stuff everywhere. So uh, when you come out here, if any, you know, if you guys come out here to shop, like uh, make sure that you have good walking shoes. And also like if you're um, not coming to pick stuff up, like you're just coming to look and possibly buy as you're going, you might want to bring like a cart uh, or something. Like usually if I'm coming up here just to look, I will either bring like a suitcase to put the stuff in the suitcase or like a cart um, because you're going to park and then walk away. So you, you might be far from your car. So right now I'm parked right in front of the vendor that I'm picking up from. So I didn't bring like a cart because I'm just going to go pick it up and put it back in the car. But once I like walk all the way over to the other side, if I buy something and I want to keep walking around, like I'm not going to want to walk all the way back to the car. And, and it's hard to like move your car to get spots and stuff because it's busy out here. So it's like, that's why I like to try to come early so I can get a parking spot on the street. Um, or you can, they do have like parking lots where you can pay for parking for the day, but you're, it's not like the type of place where you can just keep moving your car. So keep that in mind. If you come out here, good walking shoes, water, and make sure you bring like a cart or like a suitcase or something to, um, you know, be able to put your stuff in so you don't have to keep going back and forth to the car. But um, the rest of the video, I think it might be, or the rest of this next part, probably it'd be like voiceover because I'm just going to be showing the stuff and then it's going to be hard for you to hear me. So I will talk about it probably like voiceover style. So I'm going to go get my first package and then we will just walk around. So this is the San Pedro Mart. And as you can see, this is just one side of it and it is just full of vendors and they all sell different type of things, different type of vendors, just full of lots of good stuff. So the first store I went into was called Love Poem. Here they basically had a bunch of basics and the prices were insane. Like this tank was $1.90, like what? Um, it was pretty decent quality too. So as you see, they just have like a bunch of different basics. So if you sell basics and you're just looking for basic crop top, you know, basic bodysuits, basic tanks and stuff, they have it. They also have some really cute dress shorts. Like those shorts were so freaking cute. And again, like the prices were really good for the quality. Like the quality was pretty decent. And like, let's see how much these shorts were. $5 for those shorts, like crazy. And then here they had some um, cargo pants and like some dress pants. So they had a pretty good selection of stuff. 
So here's the next vendor. Um, they had kind of similar stuff like basics and stuff. Um, that's pretty much what I was looking for. So that's what made me go into this store. But as you can see, their prices are way more expensive than the other store. Like for their crop tops and tanks and stuff, it was like $7, $12. So it's like y'all right next door to this other store that's selling it for $2. Why are y'all charging $7 for the same tank and $6? So to me, that's kind of pricey per item because then you have to charge more but yeah they're pretty decent so here's the next vendors um day um plus moon and here they had really cute stuff like it's definitely like super girly girl bright colors fun for summer um the quality was really good um they are a bit pricey but the quality of the stuff was really nice so if you sell girly girly stuff you'll love this store here was the next place that I went to. This place had lots of beautiful, beautiful dresses. They also had some sets. They had really good quality. Um, it was a bit pricey, but for the quality, like it was pretty much worth it. After I left that store, I kind of just walked around. So like I said, there's all different types of vendors here. So whatever you sell, they have it. Um, here's one that sold like dresses. So this is perfect for like prom. I saw a lot of stores that sold like gowns and stuff like this. Like perfect for prom or like special occasion type wear. Here's the next place that I went. This place had really cute stuff. Um, their prices were, you know, pretty inexpensive, like $8 for a blazer and it isn't bad. I will say their stuff isn't, I wouldn't necessarily say it's bad quality, but you can tell like for the price, like it's kind of like thin, like this dress is, was $4, but the dress is kind of thin. So it's definitely not like you're getting a steal where it's like $4 for a dress, but it's a really good thick dress. So. I would say like a 3.5 out of 5 um, as far as like, you know, quality wise, like if you bought it for super cheap, I would make sure you price it super cheap. Like I wouldn't buy anything from here and then try to charge $50 for it because then it's like, no, like it's not worth it. But it was really cute stuff in here. Here is the next place. Now this place sells stuff like all over, like in the stores, in Fashion Nova, Rainbow, a lot of their stuff come from here. Um, and they're pretty inexpensive. Um, the quality is like decent, kind of similar to the other place. Some of their stuff can be kind of thin, but it's like you get it for cheap. So um, as long as you price it, you know affordably like it'll be fine but they have like really cute stuff and a good selection like this set i think was only like nine dollars let me see how much was it yeah that set was only nine dollars so it was super cute but they have like a lot of good stuff here so i still would check them out and they are on um fashion go um they do have more stuff on fashion go than in store so like some of the stuff i will see on fashion go i would come in to want to see what it looks like in store but they don't have it in store so keep that in mind
you are looking for jeans, this um, vendor resin jeans, they have jeans and they have plus size. They were a little expensive, but denim is always kind of expensive, but it was um, decent quality for the price though. So. <laughs> sorry about the lighting the um the sun is behind me but i'm at the actual fashion district now before i was at san pedro mart um so now i'm at the fashion district where there's way 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 more stores i actually drove over here so thankfully i was able to find a spot because it was a seven minute walk and i just didn't feel like walking so thankfully i found a parking spot on the street um but yeah so as y'all saw there's like a you can find a variety of stuff here they have like dresses like um you know go like depending on what you sell like you definitely will be able to find a lots of stuff out here but it's like i would say if you are able to come out here it's best to come out here because um to see if you can find the actual manufacturer of stuff because one vendor will have it for a dollar eighty and then another vendor that's like on fashion go or on like one of those wholesale sites will be selling the same thing but they'll sell it for nine dollars or they'll sell it for eight dollars you know what i mean so it's like you're paying more when you could have got it from the source but a lot of times the source they're not online so you wouldn't really know that unless you actually come here get a business card a lot of them are on whatsapp so you can message them on whatsapp and see if you can get their catalog um um, like on WhatsApp if you want to see what they have before you come out here um, but yeah like make sure like if you're able to come out here come out here and um, like if you live close and obviously you really should be coming out here like I live in Long Beach it's only 45 minutes away like I'm gonna come up here um, but if you don't live like in Southern California like just try to come out here at least like once if you can and just do the tour uh, of all of the vendors and get all of their cars get all of their whatsapp so you're able to get their catalogs and you're able to like shop from the stores versus shopping on the wholesale sites and you're not like you're shopping from a distributor so their prices are marked up you want to be able to get the best possible price for the item so that way you're able to um sell it for the best price and like you get good profits so you're not having to like you know overcharge your customers just to make a profit like you can actually sell it for a decent price and still make profit um which is the goal is the profit so yeah i'm about to just walk around um this area for a little bit and then i'm gonna head to pick up my other order the other order i need to get is not in the fashion district um they're a little bit outside of it so i've actually never picked up from them before i've never ordered from them before um so but i well i have but i've ordered i ordered from them indirectly like i ordered at a i ordered online through a through fashion go but i ordered from a different vendor and then it still had this vendor's tag on it so i'm like well this is the original purse that they got it from like so anyways um yeah i must have just walk around here for a little bit and then i will head home so again i'm just going to show you a couple of vendors that are out here and yeah now here's one of my personal vendors. This is where I get all of my accessories from. The other vendors I showed you, I've never shopped with them before, but I just wanted to kind of just show you what's out here. But this vendor is where I get my purses and sunglasses from, and they are kind of pricey, but um, like the quality is like unmatched. Like the bags are really good quality. They're really good size. Like usually the bags are always bigger than what I expect, which is why I like to go in and look at it because I'm always like, it looks i always think that it's going to be smaller than i get i'm like oh this is a big bag so it's definitely worth the price and as you can see they have such a huge variety of bags of colors they have like multiple colors in each bag or in each style like they just are top tier when it comes to um like bags and these aren't even all of them that i showed you because it's just like aisle on top of aisle of all different bags and they are on fashion go i believe they have their own website too but they are on fashion go so you're able to order online they ship pretty fast um i usually will sometimes order online and then just pick up in store but 
Like they just have, they have it all. Um, they also sell jewelry. I've never bought jewelry from them. So I don't know like, you know, how it wears and all that stuff. But they also sell jewelry. They sell belts. They sell hats. They sell accessories. Like they like literally are top tier when it comes to um, accessories. Alrighty guys, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of a short one, um, but I just wanted to show you guys some vendors from the fashion district. So like I said, the only vendor that I've actually shopped with of the ones that I've shown you was the H&D vendor. And then I believe I showed you like the outside of hair collection. I've shopped with them before. They have really good quality stuff. But um, a lot of the other vendors, I was just kind of just showing you what was out there. Um, and again as best if you just come out and try them yourself because what i think might be pricey depending on the type of you know customers target audience you have it's best just to come out here for yourself if you ever get a chance um let me know if you like this video i can do more i go to the fashion district a lot because i live close so um if you like this video i can do one every time i go and just kind of show different vendors each time just comment down below and let me know if you guys would like to see something like this again um but yeah make sure you guys subscribe um and because i will be the next video i drop will be an inventory haul showing you all the things that i bought personally because this one was kind of just me walking around um so yeah just stay tuned for the inventory haul because that will be dropping soon and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one peace out